guys and welcome back to the vlogs i am in need of putting my jewelry on hence i'm looking a little bit bare at the minute i'm just getting ready this morning i do not look this pale in real life i promise the camera really does do me dirty here but i'm just getting myself together because i'm heading to mr village today and i'm having my annual girls shopping trip with my friend amy we do it every year kind of like the same time of the year as well and hopefully fingers crossed we find some good buys because as you guys may know if you've been to vista before it is very hit and miss i've got some really good purchases from vista that have lasted me for ages like my prada bali flats i've got a burberry trench years ago I've had YSL trainers from there, YSL bags. So you can really find some good finds. And I feel like I haven't shopped for myself in so long. I got the coat when I was out in New York, but that's literally basically all I've brought myself for the past few months, which I'm not complaining because a lot of my money is going elsewhere on the house and on the wedding right now. But it has been my 30th birthday. I did tell myself I wanted to treat myself to something really nice my 30th. I have had in mind a piece of jewelry. So I think I might do that with Chris maybe at the weekend. So we're gonna go do shopping for wedding rings. But hopefully in Bista I can find some pieces and also do some Christmas shopping for other people. Maybe get some Chris some bits and my family. So it should hopefully, fingers crossed, be a success. I'm going midweek, quite early in the morning to try and get there before the chaos. Because this time of year it is normally quite crazy there. But hopefully it should be a nice girls day. I've just slicked my hair back but my hair is quite short at the minute so it's so hard to put it in a bun. I've had to put so many grippies in to get that really kind of like neat bun. I've got my white Arquette shirt on, my Prada jumper. I'll show you my outfit properly before we go. I've actually had some lovely new pieces in from Abercrombie. You guys know I really love shopping on there for my staples especially when it comes to jeans the vegan leather trousers they've got. They've now got the party wear ones, like the silver ones, their body suits. It's honestly just so good. Um, excuse the noise in the background. My neighbors are currently mowing their lawn. But yeah, I thought I would show you some pieces that I've gotten from Abercrombie before I go. So I think I might style it with my Prada jumper that I've got on. I've got these gorgeous burgundy vegan leather trousers. Now when it comes to Abercrombie, I've said it before, I'm going to say it again, it is honestly one of the best places to shop for your staples. I've got so many pairs of jeans, body suits, I've got their faux leather trousers, their Sloan trousers, like their tailored ones. They just are so good when it comes to your really core cool, like bread and butter of your wardrobe. So I'm going to share with you what I picked up because I'm wearing some of the pieces now and I'll show you them in a cutaway so you can see them full length as well. So this is the sweetheart neckline bodysuit that I'm currently wearing. It is this kind of knitted thicker material so it's obviously more for the autumn winter and I will be wearing this as well going through to the spring to be honest. It's such a good basic to then layer with and I do love a sweetheart neckline. I've just literally paired it with the faux leather trousers which I will show you in the cutaway Way. but you can see it's long sleeve it's super flattering I went true to size in this and it's just such lovely quality as well I've also styled them with the faux leather trousers that I'm currently wearing and I actually have these in black but I saw these when I went to the recent Abercrombie event on one of the girls and this is a burgundy color and it is just beautiful it just goes to show if you have something in one color and it works and it fits I normally do get it in a few other colours, so I've got it in this and another one which I'm going to share with you, but these are just this like rich burgundy colour which I think is just so beautiful, very in season at the minute with these reds, these burgundy tones, I think it's a nice way to add a pop of colour into your wardrobe and this is quite subtle and I know I can style this which would look really beautiful with cream, like a real nice cream chunky knit with these. The contrast would look beautiful and as I've got it today just with a black bodysuit and then obviously layer it over the top with a coat. I then got this beautiful faux fur jacket. If this doesn't scream Christmas I don't know what does because this is just giving cozy fluffy goodness. So I'm just going to try it on with the outfit I've got on with a cream jumper or just like a cream top underneath maybe rather than the black and the burgundy together but just to show you because this 
oh so cozy the coat would also be beautiful layered over your festive outfits when you're going out in the evening it is currently freezing here now in the uk we're fully into winter so this is going to be your like lush layering piece over your beautiful dresses your sparkly numbers and then obviously for every day as well but this is just so cozy and lovely and i don't have a little faux fur jacket like this so i thought it was perfect to add to the wardrobe one size up i just wanted it a little bit bigger but not too big because obviously it is very fluffy in itself and i believe this also comes in a few other colors but i just went very festive white and i'll definitely be wearing this over the christmas period now i wasn't lying when i said i loved the faux leather vegan trousers that's a bit of a mouthful so I got them in another colorway and I got them in the silver. Now these were around last year, they're back in this year and I love them. It's a good fit that I got them in the silver trousers and I'm so glad I got them in this colorway because if you remember, I picked them up from H&M. Quality just wasn't there. It was just given tin foil and they're really thin. They felt cheap. It just wasn't a great fit. So I sent them back and I was eyeing these up on Abercrombie. They were in my size. Again, I went the exact same size as the other ones. Waist 27, leg petite, which is obviously the short leg. And they are such a good fit. So I'm not sure why, but in the Sloan trousers, I've got these in white and in beige. I find that I go true to size in these, whereas in the faux leather vegan ones, I go for a waist 27, whereas these are waist 26. They're the ultra high Sloan trouser and you can't really see it here. Obviously, I'm going to put it in the cutaway so you can see, but these are a gorgeous satin material. And again, if you're wanting to have a little bit more of an understated outfit when you're dressing up over this period, these are brilliant for it. Also for workwear, every day, they just have that lovely finish to them. So they're something a little different rather than just your average tailor trouser because obviously they've got that sheen. But they are such a beautiful fit. Again, when it comes to Abercrombie, I honestly, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but they're really, really good for your core staples. Lastly is this beautiful dress. I know you guys are going to love this one. It's a knitted ribbed one. Oh my God. I can't tell you how comfortable and how beautiful the fit is. It comes here at the waist, it just snugs in the right places and then it drops down. It has this little slit here, which you'll see in the cutaway. Just the whole fit of this is just chef's kiss and the material is beautiful. It's knitted, it's cozy, it's warm, but it's not too thick. So you can easily layer over this. You can see up close the rib material. I will be wearing this so much with some knee-high boots, chunky boots, belly flats. There's so many ways you can wear this. And again, you can dress it up. This would be beautiful with some heels. Just a lovely, simple little black dress. So I just wanted to show you, obviously, these new pieces that I've got in from Abercrombie. I've actually had a few other new pieces in my wardrobe, which I'll be doing in a whole separate video, which should be coming hopefully next week. So make sure you subscribe for that if you're not subscribed already. And I will link all of these pieces down below with my sizes, as I've mentioned. And I'm going to get straight back into the video so you can go shopping with me to Vista Village. And then I'm back in my outfit of what I'm going to be wearing today. I've got my Prada jumper on. I've had this for years now and it's honestly one of my best purchases. It's cashmere, it's lasted me, it's timeless. I love the colour of it. They do bring it out every year so I will try and link it. And I know it comes in different colourways but I've honestly worn this so much. It's just such a beautiful classic piece. That I can keep bringing out my wardrobe. I've put my Arkit shirt on underneath. I've got this beautiful new coat on from Cara Millen. They kindly have gifted me this and it is honestly stunning. The colour of it works really well with the jumper. It has all of the beautiful finishes with the stitching. The tailoring on this is stunning. It's got the pleats here, the pockets, the black buttons and then also here on the sleeves and it comes pretty long. So it's, I would say like midi maxi length i haven't got any heels on it with it today i've literally just gone cozy and comfy because it's freezing outside and i've put my uggs on these jeans are old from abercrombie but as you guys know i only wear abercrombie jeans they're this kind of black charcoal color so i will try and link them because these are in the petite and as you can see they hit quite nice here at the ankle i've got my celine belt on underneath all of these layers and i feel like i haven't worn my chanel bag for a while and i thought the black ties in with my jeans and the buttons so i'm going to go with a chanel bag i've put my monica vinader earrings in i wear these all the time they're kind of just my everyday and my discount code actually is still live for them 
And as you can see, I've got my Monica Vanida rings on as well. But that is the look. I've slicked my hair back. It is very greasy at the minute. I don't know how I've done it with all of my layers, but I've managed to just kind of grip it all in. And I'm ready. I'm comfy, cosy, but still put together for a shopping day. So it says it's going to take me a good hour and a half to get there. So fingers crossed, I can get there in good time. Okay, I've just got here. It actually took me quite a while. It took me like an hour and a half. Um, but I'm gonna go meet Amy now, go to the apartment, get a glass of fizz. And so we're just in the apartment. We're actually in this little room because it is so busy, but we're gonna do a takeout drink. I've got my little coffee. Look at little munchkin here playing. And Amy. Here you go. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go do some shopping now because we've just been nattering and catching up. Mm. But I'm worried that the shops are gonna be busy. You did say, what, didn't you, that they were? No, it was really busy, but um, hopefully we can. Yeah, fingers get crossed. It was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business in my little prison shop. When the Jingled once more, and then time almost came to. So I'm just coming at Manolo Bananic, and I found these in a 5.5, and I think these are really cute with the blue sparkle, and then in white satin, because normally they never have my size in here. So I think I might get these. But somehow I knew, and maybe so did you. Okay, so two shops down and success. I went to Ralph Lauren and I managed to get the cute little teddy bear socks that I've been looking for. And I just went in Manolo and they had those shoes. So I've just put them on hold because the ones that were available had a few marks on. So I'm seeing if they can do a little bit of discount on them because obviously they were on display. So I'm just gonna go for lunch now with Ames and go back and let's see if they can do it for me. Everything would change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas on. This Christmas on. So just had lunch. It was actually really lovely. Went to the pasta bar. I don't know why my camera is not focusing today, but um, Amy's just left now with the babies and I'm just heading to Jimmy Choo to see what I can find in there. Cause if I don't find anything in here, I think I'm gonna go back to get the Manol Manolos. <laughs> Sorry, but I actually went into YSL. They don't let you film in a lot of the stores here. So there's, there was some lovely bags. There was like a red one. And what else did I see in there? There was some lovely shoes. But I really like these little bow ones, but I realised the heel was very much like kitten heel. I'll insert a picture or a video. <laughs> but yeah, they basically don't let you film in a lot of the stores, so it's hard to show you everything that I'm seeing. But I did see the bag that I have, and I put the price, I think it was one reduced to 1,700. One um, so there's a few good bag options in there, but that's not what I'm on the hunt for. From this Christmas Christmas 
the next day and I thought I'd actually show you what I got because I feel like I couldn't really talk and vlog in the stores because some didn't really let you film in there and I was pretty much in a rush because I had to get back and I wish I'd gone around a few of the other stores like there was Self Portrait and yeah there was just a few other stores that I wish I'd had the time to be able to browse a bit more. I did stand in the queue because they've got the new Dior store there now it's bigger and it's actually the only Dior outlet in the world but the queue I was stood there for like 10-15 minutes and she was like you're going to probably be stood here for another 20 minutes so I was just like it's freezing I really can't be bothered I'm in a rush so I tried to go around as much as I could so hopefully you saw it within the vlog and some of the price points like my Prada Bally flats were still in really good price point there was a good few trenches in Burberry I wish I'd actually got the jumper that I tried on it had the Burberry patch on the um elbows here which is really weird but it actually looked quite nice it was really subtle and it was quite a good price point actually I think it was around 300 um, and they had some beautiful jumpers and scarves and Burberry as well I wish I'd gone into coach I didn't properly look around all of the stores I was literally like zooming around them all so hopefully you saw most of it but the one thing I'm very very happy I got is the shoes I managed to get what I kind of like had on my list to go for these were a steal and I'm so glad I got them I was really on an R and if to go with the Jimmy Choo ones which always ask what they have in the back because these were not on display and I was like do you have any more bridal shoes she was like I've got one pair and they're actually in a size five I was like these are my size they were beautiful tried them on loved them but in the back of my head I was like I think I prefer the Manolos and I think they're a bit more iconic because they had the little something blue on them and whenever I've got a Manolo before they never ever have my size especially in the bridal shoes because that's always the ones recently that I've been going in for so the ladies in there were so lovely and they actually held this for me for most of the day actually and because these were the last pair and they were the display they also reduced them so these were originally I think the label is still on here so I can give you the original price and then what they were discounted for and then what I managed to also get them for Cinderella shoes how beautiful are these they are just perfect they are the white satin and then the little something blue with the sparkle these were just perfect and made for me so they're actually a 5.5 but I thought maybe they'll be a bit too big but they're not and I feel like your feet do swell especially in the heat and with wearing a court shoe so oh, they've took the price off it but I believe it was a thousand reduced to six 40 and then I managed to bag them for 500 because they knocked I would have got 10% off anyway if you're a Vista VIP member and I believe you also get that if you're a Soho member and you go to the apartment but with the 10% obviously it would have reduced them but then she knocked a little bit more off because one of them are the display shoes and I'm not sure if it's going to pick up on camera you can see it there's a few little marks here on the side nothing crazy at all otherwise I wouldn't have brought them but I can get them dry cleaned and the good thing about these is obviously they're going to be my bridal shoes I'm going to be able to wear them around my civil ceremony that I've got coming up next month and also around the wedding so I just thought they're perfect for that they're very iconic they're giving Carrie Bradshaw and I've not got a pair of these and I've always dreamt of them so an absolute bargain from down from a thousand basically half price to 500 pounds so glad I got them how pretty are they in the sparkle oh it's all my bridal dreams in a shoe but another reason I did get these over the Jimmy Choo's was because Nolos if you didn't know you can actually dye them so they have actually given me a number of a lady that does it and my friend has also had it done my friend Amy who was with me she had hers dyed and I think in the future I could get these dyed into maybe navy which would look beautiful with the blue or I could even maybe do black so it's really a good idea if you are invested in a shoe like this that you can obviously change it up in the future and obviously refresh them. So I'm going to get them dry cleaned because they've got a very, very slight mark. But the fact that I got them half price, I am not complaining. I did also go to the White Company. I ended up getting just, you know, the um, Peony handset, so the soap and the cream. Whenever I'm there, I always pick up a set it's always good to have in the house. And I love the smell of the Peony ones. This was discounted to... Again, they've took the sticker off. I think this was £18 for the set, and it's normally like 20 some 
20, 30 something, so it was discounted. And annoyingly, they had the winter candle, but in the apartment they had the large, but they weren't on sale in the store. But they were discounted in the store, I believe, the winter candles, which I kind of wish I'd gone back for one. But I have ordered it on the White Company Black Friday sale anyway. But I did also get a few baubles, which I've already taken out of the box, and it's actually on the tree here. I got three of these, which I thought were really pretty, the gold bigger size baubles and it's got the little glitter here at the top so I got three of these I think these were actually full price still they were six pound but I had a little bit of um, a gift card so I was managed to spend that and then I also nothing crazy at all guys I just went to Ralph Lauren and I got the cute little teddy bear socks which I thought were really sweet over Christmas but like I said I wish I had time to go around the other shop because I probably would have got a little bit more so I think I'll probably be doing another Bista trip before Christmas for sure. Bista is very hit and miss it depends on you go it is obviously getting busier this time of year we went a little bit earlier in the morning and obviously midweek so it's a little bit better to go then but I think all in all it was a success. Leave the vlog off here I hope you enjoyed a little bit of shopping and getting into the festive spirit. It was nice to do our girls annual trip and see my friend Amy and treat myself and I'm sure you'll be seeing these upcoming with some bridal looks because my civil ceremony is very very soon which I'm currently sorting out everything for. So hope you enjoyed this video guys, there's a lot more vlogmas to come. Make sure to subscribe, if you did enjoy it please do give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.